A subset of the Supercharger V3 announcement on Thursday included a mention of a feature in an upcoming software update that's attributed to 25% of the 50% faster charging speeds for Tesla vehicles. Now, ultimately, that means that 25% of the speed enhancement is software related, and the remaining 25% is the increase in kilowatts, which won't be available to current Model S and Model X owners, at least for now. So on today's video, we're gonna focus on that first 25% that we know all owners will get. We're gonna cover what we know, coming up next. The feature is called En Route Battery Warmup. And according to Elon on Twitter, which is where we seem to get most of our confirmed news, it'll be rolled out to all Model S, X, and 3 owners that have cars manufactured since 2012, which is essentially all of them. This has been a commonly asked question, and it's something that owners are thrilled to hear about, that there's at least a 25% improvement for those Model S and X owners that don't have the hardware to utilize the full 250 kilowatt charging rates that were announced on Thursday. The concept of the feature is that if you use the navigation system and route to a supercharger, you'll be able to start supercharging at max power. Max power, he's the man whose name you'd love to touch. Instead of having to condition the battery prior to enabling peak charging speeds. It's reasonable to think that this feature could negatively impact range as it attempts to warm or condition the battery pack for charging, which wouldn't be ideal for those that are already low on charge and ultimately heading to a supercharger. So Elon addressed this as well, stating that the feature only uses a bit of power right before arrival at the supercharger and there will not be a noticeable impact on range. So to my cold weather friends, Listen up to this one. If you're already concerned about range in the cold and fear that this will exponentially make things worse, no worries. Elon spoke up about that as well and said that the net power to warm the pack is especially low when the motors are running and that coolant loop routes all the heat that's generated from the motors back to the battery pack when it's cold out. It simply rejects the heat if it's warm out to the air, but it's routing all of that motor heat back into the pack so it's not utilizing battery power to be able to heat itself, it's using motor power. All factors considered, the software and hardware upgrades will enable a charge time reduction by a factor between two and four, according to Elon, and for the entire fleet, thus doubling the supercharging throughput, which is super exciting. This software innovation in conjunction with the hardware upgrade is great news for all Tesla owners. As I learn more information about this upgrade, I'll certainly be passing it along to you, but in the meantime, Feel free to ask any questions that you have in the comments below or share any information that you have that I have not mentioned yet. Additionally, if you have any friends that are Tesla owners or Tesla enthusiasts, I'd certainly appreciate if you share this video or one of my other videos and make sure that you're always sharing, liking, and subscribing to the channel. It helps us grow and I always appreciate the feedback. So until next time, I hope you have a great week and we'll see you then. Take care.